Uh, you know, first, I think just personally and mechanically, there's a couple of things I was working on, um, whether it's my ball carriage in the pocket, just my rhythm footwork on certain plays, dialing that in. Um, and then, you know, as an offense as a whole, just really, um, I mean, we threw the ball a lot. We got a lot of a lot of good reps. Um, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of last week, we got good on good versus the defense. Um, and we threw a lot of balls, threw a lot of balls. It was good for our chemistry, good for just getting some of those full speed reps back in. And um, yeah, it was a lot of good work. Yeah, I mean, their third down packages are pretty good. He likes to he likes to sub his guys in on different packages on third downs, um, really all the way across the board, th third and short to third and XL. And, you know, they've got some great calls, but uh, we've been repping them. We've been practicing them, watching them, and uh, we should be good to go. Brady, they got a few uh, NFL-type guys on the defensive line. They scored Ishmael Turner. Um, what, what pops off the tape to you when you see those guys? Uh, just high motor. Um, you know, Nick Scorton is a heck of a player. Just the way he, uh, you know, one thing I've noticed is the way he reads meshes, quarterback and running back happened versus Arkansas a few times. You know, whether he's mesh charging, taking the running back, taking the quarterback, it can be confusing. Um, and yeah, high motor, I mean, the way he pass rushes, the way he defends the run, uh, the way he defends zone read, I mean, he's he's a heck of a player. Brady, we're just talking to Eli about the challenges, of, you know, your first group trip being at a stadium like Kyle Field. You know, what, what jumps out to you about the challenges of playing at College Station, especially when you talk about yeah, you know, I think it's always a challenge on, you know, road SEC games. Um, you know, I think at some point it can only get so loud, you know. Um, after playing at certain stadiums, you, you know, you can't hear, you can't hear. Um, it's kind of just a part of the experience, part of the challenge. Um, you know, of helmet communications, if it's too loud to hear, you know, we always have um, our signals and different ways to get plays in and communicated. So um, as long as we start fast and uh, we're explosive early, you know, hopefully that'll quiet them down a little bit. Just talking to us about red zone offense and third downs there, and that being the point of emphasis in the bye. From your perspective, you know, what did that process look like of working on that, and what do you think needs to improve? Yeah, I mean, 100%. We just need to score more touchdowns in the red zone. Um, you know, if you looked at the numbers, I forget what it was, maybe three of 10 in like the last two or three games in the red zone scoring touchdowns. Um, you know, it's hard to, hard to win games like that. Luckily, we did. Um, so that was a huge emphasis. You know, I think. At the end of the day, it just comes down to practicing it. You know, we practiced it last Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, a ton. Uh, red zone plays, red zone versus defense, um, a red zone lockout period where it's basically offense versus defense for, for three or four rounds um, just in the red zone. So we've repped it a ton. Um, I think we're feeling a lot more confident. You already mentioned, you know, trying to do some, throw some noise at you in practice. It's obviously not the same as Kyle Field, but what, in your experience, what things in practice have helped and, and how does that help you deal with it once you get into the game? Um, you know, in my opinion, uh, the, the noise at practice is actually louder. Um, you know, they put these big speakers, you know, pretty much two feet right behind me. And I mean, it's, it's I mean, you can't hear anything. It's, it's loud. Um, you know, in stadiums, it's, it's, it's loud, but it's, it's like a surrounding, you know, kind of more distant loud. So it's a little different. I think it's, you know, just as loud or louder or tougher to communicate. Um, so I mean that that's great work. We've we've been doing that um, every single rep this week. So hopefully the offense and me and and Tolleson and the rest of the guys are, are feeling good going into the first series. Brady, what's your approach when you've got two weeks between a game? Are you a, in the facility every day watching games on the weekend, or do you take a couple days to get away from football? Uh, so we took I took I took Friday and Saturday. Um, those were kind of our off days. You know, everybody kind of gets out and. Um, you know, watch ball like like a normal person, and you know, watch college football game day and all that stuff. It was fun, um, but at the same time, you know, I'm not gonna lie. I had had the call sheet out, had the ready list out, and um, there's always things always things to be doing on a Friday and Saturday where you can't really turn your mind off of it. That's the reality. You know, you know, you got Texas A&M coming up. Um, your mind re never really turns off. I know you guys probably have gotten your own reminders of this, but. When you see some of the things that happened last weekend, is it good? Hey, college football, weird things happen, and, and you got to be ready in a given day. Yeah, hundred percent. You know, I think college football is crazy. There's uh, things that can go down each and every game that you, you won't expect, and um, you got to be ready for it. I think at the end of the day, as long as you can, um, 
you know, stay calm, uh, you know, battle adversity when it shows up and, and trust what you've practiced all week. You know, whatever, whatever happens, happens. There's going to be things that come up, situations that come up, crazy plays that come up. Um, but at the end of the day, you practiced all week, just execute it. Uh, yeah, you know, I think, I mean, do your best to act like they're not there, really. Um, you know, at least as a quarterback, you know, when, I, when I'm out on the field, there's already a lot going on that I'm focused on. Um, you know, most of the time I'll come off the field after a series and I'll forget the crowd was even there. Obviously, the noise is there and that, that, that's a challenge for communication and different things like that. But um, as long as we can stay dialed in when we're out there and we're not letting it distract us and we're focused on what we need to be focused on, you know, the noise is the noise, but, you know, you score points, they'll quiet down. Great. It sounds like you had a busy bye week, but did you take a chance during this week off to, to kind of hone in on your focus, flush the last four games and ignore the outside noise? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that was a big emphasis. Um, you know, Vandy game, and then we had the Sunday and Monday to really watch that tape, recover our bodies, flush it. And, you know, by Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of last week, you know, we were pushing forward. Um, we had great energy. We were practicing. I was focused. I knew what I needed to improve on and work on that week. Um, and then we got back Sunday, and you know we hit the ground running on Texas A&M. So the energy is great. My energy is great. Um, and we feel really confident moving into this week.